The AN-225 transport aircraft can be considered a leviathan in the global aviation sector. Its size is unparalleled in the world, and it is the only super-heavy transport aircraft of its kind. Its fuselage height reaches 18.2 meters, or 60 feet, with a length of 84 meters, or 275 feet. The wingspan is even wider, reaching 88.4 meters, or 290 feet. With an empty weight of 175 tons, its maximum takeoff weight reaches a staggering 640 tons. Its cargo capacity reaches 250 tons, and the top of the fuselage can also carry 200 tons of heavy cargo. Since first soaring into the sky in 1988, the world record set by the AN-225 regarding payload and takeoff weight remain unmatched to this day. The original plan was to build two of these aviation beasts, but ultimately only one was completed and put into service. The other remained forever in an unfinished state. It witnessed the glory and the peak of the Soviet aviation industry. It has been over 30 years since then. However, with the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the AN-225 lost its original strategic mission. It was later converted into a cargo transport aircraft, owned by Ukraine. The AN-225 was equipped with six powerful engines, with specific thrust reaching 23.4 tons. Its internal cargo hold was incredibly spacious, 43 meters long and 6 meters wide. Including the front and rear ramps, the total length reached 70 meters. The internal volume was as high as 1,300 cubic meters. Relying on its massive cargo hold and unprecedented payload capability, in 2010, the AN-225 transported two 42-meter-long wind turbine blades to Europe. In 2013, it flew to Shijiazhong, China, to load advanced trams developed by China CNR for Turkey. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the AN-225 landed at Tianjin airport, delivering large quantities of urgently needed medical supplies for the fight against the virus. Regrettably, during the conflict in 2022, this largest and heaviest transport aircraft in human history was unfortunately destroyed at the Antonov airport.